Well, Dennis, not the result the club would have wanted, but uh, in Sydney you struck a pretty good team today, I think. Yeah, probably not the result we wanted. We probably let them get that jump start on us, and uh, look, that was probably the end result. Um, look, a pleasing aspect is probably in previous weeks we've probably let it skip out to 50, 60 point losses and to fight back, you know, and we probably didn't make the most of our second half. We probably were all over them in a way and just didn't make the most of it. So, um, yeah, disappointing result, and we will be disappointed with that, but look, there's some positives to come out of it. To what extent do you rate Sydney? You know, they are on top, you know, one game clear going into today's game. Competition benchmarks, do you think? Oh, look, they're just so good at contested ball. They get that one-on-one -on -one that they want, and it's just battle after battle. And uh, sometimes they win, sometimes they lose, but um, they just know each other so well, each other's strengths, and look, they're definitely top side and, you know, one, one to watch. The positives, of course, we saw Jared Wade come back. Great game, game number 150. Simo back after the jaw, and Simon White, his first... Uh, you know, hit out in about uh, 12 months or so. Good to see the three of them, uh, you know, making an impact. Yeah, it was. It was definitely good. You know, Wade is a big, classy forward and we need him up there and it's good to have him back out there and hopefully he can stay out there. You know, Simo's probably the driver, the courage of this club. He's been doing it week in, week out for his whole career and uh, to have him back diving at the ball, even with his head guard, without it, whatever he does, it's just phenomenal to watch. And then Whitey, you know, he's got that massive frame and he's using it. So, you know, they're valuable players and it's really good to have them out there. Yeah, the players have probably run, they've run out of letters for players to walk under here, Dennis. It hasn't been the greatest of years in terms of players available, you know, with injury and so forth. How are you yourself travelling? You know, you're holding up all right after a, a long and arduous winter? Oh, look, it's, it's a, hard, it's a hard, hard sport and we play the, with niggles and all that. But look, now the body's holding up real well. Um, I'm getting through week to week. I'm trying to throw myself in positions where I get injured, but it's just not happening. So it's really good. Um, I'm touch wood, I don't... Don't, nothing happens to me th next week, but uh, no, nah, look, my body's holding up really well and hopefully it can continue. And I suppose you've got a fair old test there today. I think there was a moment there where you actually ran down Jetta, which was, uh, you know, you've still got a bit of toe there, which is good. Oh, lucky. I thought he had it. Um, no, nah, look, I just, I just thought, well, you can't give up. It sort of shows the side, you know, we don't want to give in. And if it's one of those little, uh, little one percenters, then I'll uh, have to do it. And a final one, Dennis, it's still mathematically possible for Carlton to make the eight. And obviously that's, um, you know, there's, a, there's still light there and plenty to play for. Oh, look, the boys are sitting in there just then and, you know, we know it's hard and we know it's tough. But, you know, as long as there's that chance, we're going to strive and do as much as we possibly can and, and to, to, get those, to get those wins, you know. And if we continue to play football like we did today, except for the result, if we can just not give teams the head start and like we did last week, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be pushing and we'll continue to do so. Stick at it, Ted. Thanks very much. Thank you, guys. Thanks.